Today is part two to my gifting buying guide for Christmas. Today's video is for you gentlemen. It is fragrances that you can buy on a last minute trip. If you're looking for fragrances for a relative, for a friend or for yourself, I have got you covered. So if you'd like to know what fragrances I would recommend as a gift, then make sure to keep on watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So, fragrances to gift for Christmas or any gifting occasion. What shall we recommend? The first fragrance is a really trusty perfume and honestly a solid gifting bet for men. It is Leighton by Parfum de Marly. Leighton by Parfum de Marly is your ultra masculine, versatile and fail-proof cologne for men. Now this is for a friend, a boyfriend or a husband that is very special to you because it is a bit of an investment since Parfum de Marly is a niche brand. So what does this perfume smell like? This is a fresh cologne that is sweet and very, very sexy. You have an initial freshness from a lavender, so this aromatic lavender that is very masculine but it is coupled with a really intoxicating, addictive, alluring, caramelized apple note. It is so delicious and it gives the fragrance so much charisma. This is the type of note combination that will hook you right from the start. Like it will just pique your interest and you won't be able to stop smelling this fragrance. Now, as it develops, you're gonna get some more sweetness, some spices and woods peeking through. So overall, when it dries down in your skin, you're gonna get more sweetness. Now gentlemen, this is a type of fragrance that really does the job and takes all the boxes. It is seductive, it is compliment getting, ladies love it, it smells good, and also performance wise, it is pretty decent. This is a great perfume to give to someone who loves the design of fragrances, but they want to smell more unique, they want something different, but that isn't gonna be a fragrance that is difficult to understand, and also that is of high quality. So for those type of people, Leighton is perfect. You will still smell pretty unique. I mean, it is well known within the fragrance community, but outside of that, it is a pretty unique fragrance, and I'm sure it will be a delight to receive this scent for Christmas or any other gifting time. The second fragrance is a new release by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is Le Mal, Le Parfum. This is the new intense version of the original Le Mal Eau de Toilette. So what does this fragrance smell like? Well, it retains the original traditional ingredients of the original Le Mal Eau de Toilette the lavender as well as the vanilla. So you're gonna get a warmth and a sweetness from the scent, but it has the addition of a spicy cardamom note as well as a very elegant touch of iris. Now iris, don't worry, it's not like in Dior Rum, because some of you gentlemen have told me that you feel that Dior Rum is a little bit lipsticky, it's a little bit feminine because of the iris note. You're not gonna get a lipstick effect in this scent, not at all. This fragrance is extremely masculine. It's also the most sophisticated of all the Le Mal fragrances. And it's a really great release personally, I think from 2020. The third fragrance is one that you probably never heard about. I haven't talked about this fragrance on my channel and I can guarantee you that this is gonna be a novelty to you. It is called Red Moon by Hermetica. Red Moon are for those of you who are looking for a really unique niche fragrance or a friend or relative that is looking for an extremely niche and different smelling fragrance. The best way that I can describe the scent, it is a mix between Calan by Parfum de Marly, Baccarat Rouge by Maison Francis Curgeon, and also Irish Leather by Memo. It's a mix of those three. It takes little pieces from those three and creates a truly magical fragrance. It is a little bit bitter and also a little bit sweet, but just a little bit. And it's a sweetness that is similar to Baccarat Rouge, but ever so slightly. Now this scent is unisex, 
but I will say it is more masculine than unisex. So if you're afraid of this fragrance smelling like Baccarat Rouge, don't worry, it doesn't. It just really cherry picks the best parts of all these fragrances that I just mentioned to create a beautiful creation. Red Moon is a perfume that is very versatile, another one that you can wear on an everyday basis is for someone who is already into niche and you want something a little bit different. Now Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without a good Chanel fragrance. So gentlemen, the Chanel perfume that I would recommend getting as a gift, a very safe option, no it is not Bleu Chanel, it is Chanel Allurum Sport Eau Extreme. This is almost like the Swiss army knife, I would say, if I've had to put an analogy or an object to this scent. What I'm trying to say is it's another super versatile perfume. It is a superstar from Chanel and one that, oops, and one that is really likable. Very clean, like a squeaky clean. As if you came out of the shower, you washed yourself with soap, that like dry, squeaky cleanliness, is what you'll get from this scent. So you get also a pop of powder, which I find makes this fragrance very Chanel and it has that distinct Chanel signature. You also have a gorgeous sweet almondy tonka bean note in the base, which makes it very alluring, sexy and addictive. This fragrance is loved by many men. It is a solid choice. I think if you want to get a nice gift for someone or just like a last minute gift and you're like, oh my goodness, what should I be getting? This is a very solid choice for any man really, especially amongst younger men. Number five, we have a very bold and intoxicating fragrance. After having smelt a clean fragrance from Chanel, this is the polar opposite. It is a good, deep and intense tobacco. It is Mystery Tobacco by Carolina Herrera. This perfume is glorious. It is such a magnificent tobacco fragrance. It is a gem. I love the packaging on this fragrance as well. It looks super chic. And by the way, this perfume bottle is extremely heavy and you get a magnetic cap. I mean, the noise alone is so satisfying. This fragrance is a dry tobacco fragrance. So you really get those dry tobacco leaves. It's also a little bit smoky, definitely an intense tobacco. It's quite thick, slightly spicy in the backdrop, but not too much. And what I get as well is some sweetness. Now the sweetness has almost a chocolatey feel. I think this patchouli in the scent which gives this chocolatey vibe. It does feel a little bit syrupy, but it's not going to be too cloying. And I will tell you that I find this scent very masculine and it reminds me literally of tobacco that you would put in a pipe, like a smoking tobacco pipe. That is a type of tobacco that you get in there. It's dry, it's a little bit sweet as well, it has an addictive quality yet remains very masculine. Whilst we are on the sweeter, spicier and nicer things in life, the next fragrance is just that. It is Cuir Curcuma by Affinescence. Now this is the 50 ml bottle from Affinescence. This is a new format that they released and thank goodness they did because the fragrances from this line are so expensive. But the fragrances are really worth it. And these new 50 ml formats are more affordable as well. Thank goodness. This fragrance, Cuir Curcuma, literally means leather turmeric. Yep, you heard it. It's a leather turmeric fragrance. It's a gorgeous, oh, sweet, another intoxicating leather scent. The leather in here is done in a very suave and suede way. It's quite powdery, it's chic, it's uplifted, it's not too thick or dense, it's done just right. And you have this really intriguing notes of turmeric. So it has sort of a herbal feel and an earthy feel, almost like roots-like from this fragrance, which is so unusual but it is backed up with velvety sandalwood and some myrrh. And myrrh brings a sweetness to the fragrance, which makes it very, very nice. This perfume, 
I would say is unisex, although I'm recommending it for gentlemen, it is unisex and it is sweet as well. So just be warned, this will dry down sweeter on your skin, but I think it is such an interesting fragrance for someone who just enjoys sweeter perfumes, those oriental scents, those thick perfumes, this will last on your skin super long time. Like this is a type of scent that will accompany you throughout the day and the projection is massive on this scent. What if you had to buy a fragrance for someone who's never owned a fragrance before? What could you get? I would recommend you go for the solid choice of YSL La Nuit de l'Homme. This is a 50 ml bottle, by the way, so they do come in 100 ml, the bigger. But this is a solid choice for a fragrance newbie. So you want an upgrade on your like Dio sprays or body sprays, or I don't know what men use, and you want to, you know, elevate yourself a little bit, this perfume will do the job. This is another super versatile scent, but unlike the Chanel perfume, it isn't powdery. It does smell clean, but it is fresh and spicy and it has a most incredible combination of cardamom which is a very sexy spicy note which really elevates fragrances for men and actually it's also present in Le Mal Le Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier which was the second fragrance I talked about today and in this fragrance as well you have vetiver which is a wood so it's a spicy woody fragrance that is fresh this one loved by the ladies massive compliment getter it smells so good it is so sexy but it's a really chilled laid back sexy it will stay closer to your skin but my goodness is this fragrance so amazing this is a scent that you want to get closer to when you smell this perfume can be worn during the day during the office on a date casual dinner with friends casual going out on the weekends, stroll in the park, it does it all. Which is why I'm recommending it as a first fragrance for men because it does everything and also it is highly likable. So that concludes my list today. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you like any of these fragrances, if you intend on gifting them to someone or to yourself. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon.